Um, welcome back to the AI track. Uh, continuing on with the amazing AI theme of things, we have Michael Christen. Is that, am I pronouncing this correctly? Yeah, that's fine. Michael, 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 Michael Christen. Michael Christen. Oh, easier. Uh, uh, Michael Christen with uh, Susie AI. We're going to hear from him, and he's uh, a big data, data engineer working with some of the largest uh, corporate players from Germany. Um, my German is. But uh, I'll try and throw in some German words if that can help. No? No. Maybe not. I'll save myself some embarrassment. So he's the founder of Loplak um, and uh, Susie AI and the creator of Peer Peer Search Engine. Yassi. <laughs> Yassi. Yes. Okay. Um, he's also the architect of large uh, search portal portals like the German Digital Library and has a Master of Computer Science in Study AI and uses his knowledge for the creation of open source personal assistant, which is ask2c.com. So, without further ado, Thank you very much, and thank you for coming. I'm actually a little bit afraid what happens now because this is an American uh, demonstration. Excuse me. Can you please stop my position? Um, this is a workshop, and we want to uh, uh, test this application all together. And um, therefore, I ask you that you all go to the Astuzi homepage and uh, try out what I'm trying here. Uh, what we want to do today is uh, that we all want to learn how uh, Suzy skills are defined and how you can do this yourself. You don't need any development knowledge for this. You don't need a development environment and you don't need to download any software. Uh, you could download the SUSE Android application if you want to, and uh, if you want to, you can test uh, your um, applications or your skills that you want to write now on your own Android device. What I'm doing here is, is I'm using the, the web client, and uh, that's a, a shared knowledge zone, but you can create your own knowledge zone and skills there is um, a link at the top to the skill manual, which is here um, still posted on GitHub pages. And I want that we read this together or make what is inside this tutorial together. And don't be scared, it's really easy. <laughs> so first thing, let's go to the online demonstration of Susie. And there's a button live demo. And there you can start checking. Say hi. And it says hello, which is German, which <laughs> it's always confusing. It has German rules, it has English rules, and um, if you do our own rules now, uh, it will be in our private zone and behave only like we want to. And uh, it works like that. We create a so-called Susie Dream. A dream is a uh, test zone for new skills. And that's on dream.asusie.com. And this is an etherpad. Does everybody know what an etherpad is? And Etherpad is uh, just an empty web page where everybody can edit the text and everybody sees the updates and everybody can join in. And that's what we want to do now. So I create a new pad and I call it Forsythia. So it's uh, initially filled with an explanation text. Uh, and we want to change the rule if you say hi, it should say welcome to Fast Asia. Now, I don't need to save this or do anything. It's just saved when I type this. So it's really easy. I go to the online demonstration. And I want Susi that it uses this demonstration now. And because it's called the Susi Dream, I tell Susi to dream.
skill in Susi. It's a very easy skill. It just catches up with the word hi, and now it answers, welcome to Foss Asia. And uh, if I want Susi, then it answers hi also to hello. I can just write it here, and now I can say hello. It says also, welcome to Foss Asia. Yeah, someone joined in. So this is actually, if you don't want to destroy anything, you can uh, join in and create your own rules and uh, skills here in this zone. But not, uh, yes, like bon bonjour, ciao. And if you if you have your Android client, you can also say Dreamforce Asia, and then it's in your Android client report. Your Android cl uh, client uh, defines a private zone, because you have a, a login. You, you must log in with your uh, with an account, you have to create an account. And then uh, you can create your own pet and create your own skills. Uh, just say dream pet name and then it's defined in your zone. Now, if somebody is asking, asking uh, where, where can I get a coffee? And let's say uh, you can get one in the I don't know if this is true, but it's just a sentence of coffee. Yeah, can I get a coffee? I haven't tested this with a heavy load. <laughs> So I'm, I'm curious what happens now if, if so many people are doing this at the same time. <laughs> uh, does anybody have a response in an Android client? Somebody write um, dream dream something else because this is a shared zone. If somebody writes uh, dream X, then it disappears here that I'm dreaming about Force Asia. So I try to dream Force Asia again. So this is a, a shared zone. If anybody is starting to dream in this zone about something else, it's going away here as well. <laughs> Let's see. Roses are green. Good to know that roses are green. So this is this is the a bit stupid. Uh, let's let's save this somewhere. Green and call it roses. Roses. Roses C maybe like this. Okay, and we want to use this value. Um, Say ro roses are blue. Uh, what 
him so I'm good. Um, you see that we stored um, a term which was visible in an answer before. Now we want to store a status variable uh, which is not visible before. Let me see what, what you are uh, putting in. Knock knock who's there. Day, how's your day? Does Susie like sushi? <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Uh, I am. Uh, I am. What? What am I? I'm. I'm uh, amazed. Uh, good to hear that. No, it's, it's true. 
No, this is this uh, this does mean it means that it just writes good to hear that point, and then it writes the word good into the variable mood. And writing the, the word good is invisible because these are the words to make it invisible. So when I'm amazed, my mood is good. And when I write what is my mood, and uh, mood is defined, then I, it says you are in a, in a good mood. And if it's not defined, it says I don't know your mood. It should do this, but I um, don't know. <laughs> Maybe this is um, this is a different rule which is in in the uh, Susie rule set. Is it because you said uh, an empty string and who is empty? So it just says picks up an empty string. Nothing's empty. So in place of who you also. Ah. Yes. No, it's it's not way you want. No. Okay. What is my mood? I don't know your mood. Okay. I am amazed. Something is not. Oops. Uh, something is not working here. <laughs> Let's try the example from the tutorial.
let's uh, let's move on with the tutorial. Okay, we can we can, we can define functions by doing um, uh, uh, calling calling uh, Susie itself. So, for example, random. This rule, uh, so this is calling itself. It, it's asking itself what color it would like. It would be a random color, so it calls this trace here. It's like typing this uh, inside the result of, of that. It's just a random one, just because this rule calls this rule. And uh, with using this kind of construction, you can create loops and um, uh, decision points. Um, and you can uh, put it into, um, uh, let's, let's take this example here exactly as it is. Methods are doing. 
But if you want to have this kind of patterns, uh, this kind of natural language processing uh, embedded, then you can just define a pattern which triggers that you want to do this now. And this is just then a gateway to, to process it further with the JavaScript. And you have, if you have done this inside a JavaScript and you call any function outside, for example, if you have done this, you can get back a result and process it with a, a, a SUSI skill further. And now the, the most interesting part is that's, that's just some, some silly tricks here. This is not really artificial intelligence and uh, SUSI is not about being uh, a, a real uh, robot that, that it's, it's able to think it's in a source aggregation engine. And therefore, the most important example is that we call an external API. In this case, uh, we call called Rocklack. And uh, if you look at this, this URL, if you take this URL and make, make a request, then you get an, um, a JSON back, which is the search result from Rocklack about tweets. That's an, an, an easy interface. I don't know if you know, know Rocklack, and uh, Susie does not depend on Rocklack. It's just an example which uses Rocklack, and it creates an uh, displays an array of statuses with tweet contents. So with this, with this, with this rule, I can ask Susie um, tweet about something, and then it will call this API and takes out that specific text line. But the text line must be defined. Where is this text line inside the JSON? And therefore, we have the JSON path. The JSON path is here root not statuses. It's uh, right here. Statuses is inside the root element. And then there comes an array. And within every array, you have property names. And we take the property names as the result, result uh, variable name here to give back an answer. So it gives back text. Text is the element which you can find here in the text line. And you just point where this is, is the statuses object. So in this case, you can say tweet, tweet about first Asia. Is this the latest tweet? At first edge, yes, it's the latest tweet. <laughs> okay, let's search something else. Singapore appears in the, in, the, in the text line. It took a long time, about 30 minutes, to come here at this point where it gets interesting. <laughs> if, we ha if we have uh, um, external APIs which can integrate here into the result set of, uh, of the, the answer lines, we can do anything. We can also do a steering of uh, external devices. If you have an API which opens the door, I can tell Susie open the door, and then it calls the API which opens the door, and so on. And we can, uh, if, if, if the door has a status and the door says it's locked, then we can return the door as locked. Um, so what I would wish what we do here is uh, that we actually take any API that you uh, recommend where we, uh, we should uh, try that. It's not possible with all the JSON results because not every uh, type of object format inside uh, the JSON is now understood by, by Susie. But uh, we are working on this. At this time, the result must be like a table, like a search result. And uh, then we can put it into an answer line. So are there questions until now here? Before we move on, we should Everybody should understand what this is about. <laughs> so, 
Any recommendations for an API? Do you have uh, a, a hint where we could use the JSON result from any sources? And uh, usually it, it goes like it goes like this. I haven't tested that. No, I'm I'm just doing an experiment. Uh, let's. Uh, is there an, um, a news a news page somewhere for Singapore?
Jesus list Vela.
have seen a mistake here. This is the JSON path, it's it's list. Right on. Right. Yeah, we waste a lot of uh, time of this testing here, but um, at, at, this, at this place, I still have to come back inside. Working on the app, yes, yes. Of course, it's working in the app. If you if you're in the app, 
uh, you write in the app Dream for Asia that it's working in the app? No, no, without writing it, without writing it, it will be for Asia. It should. Yeah, I'm asking like, uh, I, I have added some different, uh, for the same query, I have, different, so, uh, I have added some different API and, and a different person. For the same query, I have, different, I have, I have some different API. So it will not clash. If you if you have these uh, if you're using the dream zone, then they are separated. If you say dream and then uh, the dream app, then you're separated from the other persons who are doing this. But not in the online demonstration yet. Yeah, this is shared because there's no account behind it. So the question is, uh, um, so that could be something like an AI, like a, like Wikipedia for encyclopedias. So, so where a lot of people could uh, actually contribute, that's one idea. Do we need to make it even easier, or is it enough that people can make a pull request uh, to, to get? Uh, it, would good, it would be good if we have an easier interface, but that's the status right now. I, we should work on this, but if you want to start to contribute right now, it's possible. Just by putting, putting it into a Git repository. And if you are a developer, this is a normal way, but um, and you know how to do this, but we want that everybody is able to uh, create uh, SUSI skills and then this is not the right interface, uh, something else. So and what if uh, um, people now contribute the, the same kind of skill like, but for different services? Um, What's yeah. the, the weather in Singapore? There must be uh, some kind of collaboration and uh, maybe an automatic track. So um, I was thinking that here could be an, an option for AI that you say, okay, uh, let's say a thousand people who are maybe 30 years old, they choose like, uh, who are based in Singapore, who have a certain profile, they would uh, like get an answer from, in the, from in a specific API. So that's where if you, a lot of users coming in, that's where you could then distinguish who gets what answer. Yeah, every, you can uh, you can have this for for companies or maybe uh, here for the science center. You can have an app where, where for example, a dream is pre-installed. So if you open it, you get uh, all the questions about the buildings and about, uh, about the exhibitions. For example, you can do this in your company, and you can do this for your own uh, private hobby. For example, you can create a skill set about cooking or. Uh, Mechanics. Okay. So, are there questions? Yes, let's go. Hi, uh, Kim from the from another uh, So, uh, I just wonder uh, is this house in a uh, server, like a uh, sushi server, or is, is this actually an API, or is this a totally different from API? Or so this is uh, the SUSI server, there's a, there's a SUSI server uh, running which provides these answers. It's running at uh, asusi.com right now, but it's free software. You can download the server software and host it yourself. So the server is free as well, as in you are running... The, free, the server is free, and right now the dream zone is configured by an URL to an Ethernet line. That's all you can, you need an access key for your own uh, Ethernet line. Configure the URL to the dream zone and the uh, access key. Then you have your own dream zone within your own server. And you can host your own server. As you mentioned, the principle of the AI is employed here. Right? So, uh, can I say that this uh, chatbot, is this chatbot or system or vision? Yeah. yeah. They will self learn on some of the aspects, or you have to. Uh, Code in uh, certain response for them. You you must create the, the skills in some way, but maybe you find a way to create it automatically. Maybe you have a database or an information source where you compile out of this data source this kind of skills, and it's a very simple form of skills. And if you have an idea how to attach uh, other sources as dream zones, like if I can light. You could have any kind of sources like get a file from an FTP server. It's, it's thinkable, but it's not implemented. That work, but that would be easy. Here it's just an event that like. Uh, just a last question. The earlier uh, slide that you're showing, there's this.
this uh, Straits Times, right, then there's the code uh, um, that actually tracks all the API. Uh, basically, I, I need to turn on my uh, Sushi server and all this to uh, go into the uh, that segment where it shows all the API. Well, this is also on GitHub. You can just see the configuration files here. This is uh, the, the knowledge knowledge base base that Susie is using for everyone. What about the that's, that's the main idea that, that you learned how to do it yourself and then that you can contribute to this project. The, the project is free, you get the source code, you can enhance it and present to us your, your own skills that you created. It's only for open source API, right? Or not the proprietary kind of code. I think some so he means like uh, the websites, the APIs from the website. You can just find them through opening the developer console and uh, looking for uh, the normal just, way. Yeah, the normal way. So, for example, like we had the, uh, the Urban Dictionary, which is implemented, um, and uh, yeah, even that. It's not documented online, but you can just get the JSON out of the website. No, it doesn't. Well, the web is open. They, they, they yeah, must give you the code somewhere so you can render it. So, yeah. Okay, so I think maybe one uh, short question. One more question. Yeah? Okay. Will there be any filter mechanism for the queries? Uh, filter the queries so that there's no abusive content or something like that. Uh, in, uh, abuse of oh, what? No, I so it's, uh, some, uh, anyone can add the content, right? I mean, the the answers and the queries. So if someone uh, normally some, uh, said something uh, in the feed in, feed in the AI, in the server, but around something like uh, like uh, like we have Microsoft uh, Joe. Uh, so uh, people, uh, be, uh, you know, uh, sometimes people uh, just uh, uh, try something abusive and and it's shown in the in different queries as well. So there must so be a filter mechanism. Well, so everything that people write in their own account is hidden in their own account. No, no, I'm saying saying like uh, uh, for example. Uh, there should be some filter mechanism, right? Uh, so that uh, right answers will be there only for the particular question. The questions come from from skill sets which are either in a, in a public set or in a green zone. So uh, I, I, I think I don't understand the question. So why do you understand? So what's the right answer? For example, if, uh, for example, this weather in Singapore. Uh, if someone has different uh, API does not work in the other area, for example, uh, an API works on a certain reason. But it doesn't work other. So it will. If I if I'm in India, I will write weather in India. But it, it's uh, the API is working only in Singapore, so it will not work there. Of course, yeah. But maybe um, you can have a rule saying this um, this skill applies only if you are in a specific uh, region, and uh, there are variables set for the, the geo coordinates from the client if this is now. From the, the, the Android client uh, submits the geolocation if it's available, as far as I remember, and the time zone. So uh, this information can be can be used in a skill, and then make a decision if this skill is applicable or not. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I think uh, we are at the end. So is it okay if I close the, the session? So okay. So this project is online on um, uh, for Asia the GitHub account and there are already 1,200 people on uh, GitHub and Force Asia but not everyone can contribute all the time to all the projects. So as this project is pretty new, we are really looking um, for developers. There's an Android client, there's a Suzy client. Somebody started an iOS client uh, three days ago. We are also looking like at improvements of the uh, web app. And um, actually what we didn't show here is you can um, have like a, a question and answers but you can also have other things like pictures, diagrams. Uh, maps, yeah. Um, uh, some of it is already implemented, uh, but all, uh, a lot of work uh, still uh, has to be done. And um, like we are part of Google Summer Code again this year, so there will be several slots um, for people who would like to work uh, on some of the projects. Uh, but we would also like to do a Microsoft Summer of Code. Maybe, yeah. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that would be great. And um, yeah, and. Anyone like who has other interests, for example, would be great if you make a video. Like, let's say you, you think about the skill and on your way home you have the great idea. And now you know how to make uh, skills. 
So how about just making a video? Show other people how to do this, write blog articles, there are many ways to contribute. Um, and like we believe really it could be uh, the Wikipedia for AIs, maybe. I don't know, like it's, it's a dream, right? It's a dream, it's a super dream. Yeah? Yeah. So um, thank you very much. Um, anything else uh, you want to add? Yeah, I think that uh, everything that Siri and uh, Amazon uh, Echo is producing, or Google Now and, and so on, uh, we could do the same with this construction. So even if it looks a little bit silly in some way, it's sufficient to create the same thing as Siri and Cortana and so on. Their rule set will look uh, obviously very similar, I, I believe. And uh, so therefore, this is a really big chance that uh, an open source community can do something like those personal assistants as an open source project.